For many hunters, whitetails conjure up images of cornfields and hardwood bottoms, tree stands and food plots. But this is a whitetail hunt of a different sort. These are mountain deer. And for the next few episodes, we're going to be trying to get stick bow close on the ground to one of the cagiest critters in North America. There they are. For this hunt, I'll be joined by Bob Orland, Andy Ponce, and Carson Brown, all from Oregon blacktail country, and none having ever hunted whitetails before. Hey, we're not used to this. We saw a deer on the way in. <laughs> deer. How you doing, buddy? It's good, good. to see you. Good How you doing, Carson? Clay. Clay. Robert? Thanks for the invite, man. Yeah. yeah. Did you yeah, see? First country. Did you? Uh, you saw some deer coming down the grade? Oh yeah, yeah. I can barely keep these guys in the truck. They're putting <laughs> the windows down. And I'm having to put them back up. Robert keep the doors saw, locked. Saw more does and see all season hunting black. Yeah, yeah, no we kidding. did. How big is your tent? Uh, Ten by twelve. Um, I've got to see, I can, I know I can set it up later in the week, but I, uh, I picked it up from my hunting partner last night. He's not the most organized guy. So we're missing a few stakes. Or the, holes. so we have the, um, it's an internal frame. And so the, the connectors, uh -huh. he has the connectors or I have the connectors for the awning. And so I'm hoping I, and I have the poles for the tent. So I'm hoping that there's, <laughs> a, I'm hoping that there's enough to set the tent up, but I do have my TP. Just run that stuff over. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Get everything, get your water and stuff? Yep. Good luck. I don't know. For the first day, I'm going to be following Andy, so let's see how he does. Just past where the power lights go over. That's the side. Oh, just this whole, kind of, this whole thing right here. Feels like the wind's going down like that just a little bit. At least that's where I can see my breath going. <laughs> Work its way up this ridge here. Right better off staying on one side of it up on the trail right than going up the ridge. Yeah. Just stay on this side of the spine so we can look down in there instead of walking right up the gut of it. Yeah, that makes sense. Make trees. Try to get, uh, let's stay just right below that ridge. That way we can kind of pop over and look. So you 
see that tree that kind of is right down at the bottom that bows over a little bit and then up yeah. just to the right of that. If you can't see her, you need to come up a little bit. There's a doe right down there. Down below that tree? Yep. See her walking? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> This country's big, but there's lots of deer and actually some pretty good trails. And with the crunchy snow, hanging a tree stand would be a much more productive tactic. But being early in the hunt, I like to walk just to get a feel for the area and what the deer are doing.
I get split threes. <laughs> So we've been watching a couple of bucks from up here. There was one bedded on this ridge here, probably 300 yards or so away. He's got a couple of does down there with him. These deer are super, there's lots of deer around here, but it's tough to get close to them. And so what we're going to do, we're going to try to do a little bit of a, kind of a drive I guess you could call it so Andy's gonna back up go all the way around the, the head of this basin and get in position above these deer and then once I see he's in position over there I'm gonna drop down to the back side of this ridge head down pop over and then just try to easy easily kind of push these deer up to him so I think if I can just get up and let them see me, I think they'll start moving up and over the top of that. Now there's, I'm not sure where they're gonna go, but I think they'll go up and over this little knob over there. So we'll see how it works out. some more deer those deer we had originally uh, made the plan to, to do the little push on are still there so if he um, if he works his way down that ridge and gets set up in that little saddle over there he may have a crack at one of those
Alright, so he's in position. I'm just going to work my way down this ridge <clears throat> and hopefully get down below these deer. Kind of bump them up there to him. Cross our fingers, they go the right way. That did not work. The uh, this drainage is a whole lot steeper and bigger than I thought it was. I thought I'd be closer to the deer when I popped out on this ridge, but anyway, they were still over there. But they instead of going up, they just went around the went around the ridge. So it was a long shot, but. Where the try. <laughs> that is a steep face. What happened? <laughs> I blew just about everything out of there. <laughs> I stink apparently. Where'd that buck go? I never saw the buck again. So the those those deer that were bedded right there where that buck was those were the part of those ones that I, went up the ridge you know I, well i bumped two also because i was looking at you and i caught and i saw two white flags yeah but they were still the, i kept trying to get you to go down the ridge because there were still some down here right but when i got down here instead of them going up they went around i didn't yeah. realize that was that up i didn't oh. realize it was that steep it was steep steep i wouldn't want to do that in packed boots or if that was snow yeah no way I'd come down that. Yeah. It's it was questionable with the muddy. Well, you know, as it's getting sunny, it gets muddy and loose. So see how I'm steaming off my head? Yeah. You got little beads of you got little beads of water. Look at that. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Even the solar panel sweating. <laughs> Two does twice at about twenty to twenty five yards and they yeah. always stopped with that rose bush. Oh, when you were walking down that road? When I was on that road, I had that first one after you got busted with the, I heard yep. those snorting. And uh, so I came around and I spotted her before she started blowing. And I took one step over and started tensing the string. Now, so I was looking at my spot, I started to make out there was a branch like right in front. I'm like, ooh, okay. So I let down and I was hoping she'd take one more step. She didn't. She turned around and went the other way. God. But, well, I uh, saw you. I mean... Yeah, the deer were moving towards you, and you were kind of moving towards the deer, so I was hoping there was gonna something going to happen. But Well, I lost some time. There's one bedded right in the road. Oh. In the shade. Yeah. And I, I there was a little hill. I crested over, and I looked, and I spotted her, so I just kind of waited and waited and waited. And I was starting to figure out what I was going to do, and she got up and walked off the road, and there was another one I hadn't seen yet. I followed her. And then I saw the other two down there, and I played with them for a while and got close, but there was a lot of deer in there. Yeah. I mean, it's like that in every single draw along here. Well, that road up there is definitely the trail. I think we should probably put a tree stand on that or something because there is just it's just a highway of deer tracks. I don't know how long the snow hit, but it's just solid tracks. Yeah, solid tracks, and you could, that's where I was walking. I was like, walked, snuck along so quietly because they had worn it out. Well, yeah. So there's water back in there and. Um, yeah, might be one to see how that road does, and then you can drop down into the stand. Yeah, and just kind of go up from the road instead of going up this thing. Yeah. <laughs> you had to get an early start to get at, get there at daylight. Yeah. Yep. Come uh, close. Did you? Yeah, I mean, I I was starting to pull back and saw that she had a branch right in the spot I was looking. Yeah. I, I let down, but. About the first half hour, I Anna. needed those though. Well, they kind of helped and they kind of hurt. It brought one doe in, curious. But others, it's like, man, they just poof, they'd see those ears like from a mile away, you know, just because it looked like a deer. You know. but, I can't uh, even do this to you. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, God, the first half hour, I had a nice little spike buck. You know, I was like, oh, two, two trails coming together right there. Like, you know, where could I maybe set up on here? And I'm just in the middle of the road. And then I hear crunch, crunch, you know, just frozen at that point. And 
So I, I'm stuck on the middle of the road, but I'm just listening. It's like, shit, he's coming right down. He didn't come on either of the trails. He just come right through the rough stuff. And, you know, all he gave me was like this, you know, look. And then he was just, oh, and just took off. <laughs> he didn't snort or anything, but I don't know how many times today I heard. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I was funny. I was telling him, man, blacktails always do that. You yeah. Know? And he's like, dang. Hey. Yeah, they do it every once in a while here, then as soon as I hit the rib, they were all doing it. They, yeah. <laughs> it's that Oregon spell. <laughs> yeah, no, I they, I heard it all day long. Anytime oh. I tried moving anywhere, I was busting them and yeah, watching saw, like flies. 25 to 30 feet. Same here. It is amazing. I think I was bumping a lot, you know, a they few might of be them, the same uh, ones, but it was just at like, least where I was at, that was the case. Shit, but. We don't see deer. No, no. I, Short. About what do you, what'd you see? How about you? deer. Uh, no, ton of ton deer, of no deer. shots. I had a doe at like 20 on the way up, but I was like, uh. You passed? And then she came into like four, she, she was turned, my shot would have been at 20 because she was feeding away from me. And then she turned, actually walked up to like 14 and yeah, I couldn't do it. You didn't, you passed her yeah, up, Yeah, huh? I couldn't do it. You're going to regret that. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the way down the mountain, I'm like, geez. <laughs> We're hunting sheep country for does here. I should have got that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see any bucks? I saw three little bucks. Three little bucks. Mm -hmm. oh, Four for one. Good day. Yep. Good day. Although no one got a shot, so far as first days go, this was a good one. With everyone seeing and getting close to deer, it's only a matter of time before one of us connects. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell icon so you can get notified when the second part drops. We'll see you then.